It's Mike Singer. Hey, Nicola, good to see you. Um, third year in a row, you guys have clinched home court advantage uh, in the first round. Did you guys celebrate it all? Was there any high five in the locker room? Like, what, what was it like in the post game? I mean, uh, we kind of knew it. It was going to happen. So uh, we were playing for the last a lot of games. Uh, we, we lost a couple of them, two tough ones, last two. So uh, we kind of knew it. If we won't win with one hundred one, we're going to have a home court advantage. So that's kind of, we kind of knew it. Alexander Zikic. Niko, čestite vam veo važna velika pobjeda, tvojih 30 pojena, 11 skokova, 9 asistencija, ako sam tačno sve rekao. I ono što je bitno da ste sad obezbedili, znači taj home court advantage, što kaže domaći teren za play-off, znači skoro da je u neku ruku ono najvažnije završeno, kako se osjećaš, kako je bilo takmice večeras i da li bi u nekoj varijanti možda želeo da bude nekog odmora naredne te utakmice ili igraš i dalje punom parom? Pa super utakmica, ovo je stvarno bila, onda smo otvorili stvarno jako dobro, ono smo druga četvrta ne bila dosta vaša, dosta vašu da smo vratili tu neku prednost što smo imali. Oni su vratili tu prednost što smo imali, tako da ovaj jedan rastatak utakmice je bio opet što smo otišli na deset ili tako nešto na trećo i na kraju je bilo gusto, ali da najvažnije je da pokud da smo pobedili, igrali smo dobro, pogađali smo šutove kad smo trebali, imali smo neke vrne lopte na kraju, što su ne samo na kraju, nego i toko trenutnici neke grupe izgledane lopte, što je odbud od njih vlaki pojena, ali dobro je tu, imamo taj prednog zonici trenera, vidjet ćemo što će biti sad dalje. A za ovo ne znam, neće ovo sad pričujem i trener i cijel medicinski tim i konjicini treneri, tako da ne znam, neće vidjet ćemo, ne znam sad svojom tako. Vini Benedetto. Hey, Nicola, there's been a lot of talk about rest and how you guys handle the next three games. You're, you're three games away from playing in every game of the season. How important is that to you, or, or do you embrace the potential to, to take a night off? To be honest, I really don't know right now. I mean, I was really uh, kind of want, wanted to play every game as long as I'm healthy. Uh, but I mean, everybody's talking to me, so I'm going to think about it, but I, I really don't know. My, my, my goal is and hope is to play every game. Uh, so we don't know. I said it can happen with the rest. Brandon Crystal. Nicola, every teammate and every time we talk to coach, I always refer to you as the MVP. And I know you've kind of downplayed it. Will you maybe talk about it a little more here in this final week of the season? Do you think sitting these final three games affects anything at all, or the the resume is you know out there and, and your season's written regardless of these last three? It affects, it affects them, no. Uh, I can just say that I think that this is my, that this season is probably the best season I have in my life. Uh, the team is playing good. Uh, the whole season. We had ups and downs, but mainly we were going in the right direction. So we'll see. And if it happens, it happens. Leonardo Torres. Hi, Nicola. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Congrats on the win. Nicola, the team is having very good starts on the first half. Uh, how to maintain the offensive rhythm for the whole game? I think it's not just off and it's just rebounding. Uh, we a couple of, sometimes we have a couple of good stops and we do the rebound and then have uh, easy points after that. Uh, it just, uh, I think the focus is the main thing. It's, uh, it's a game of runs, of course, but I think we can control the runs. They don't need to be that, that big, uh, especially if you have that much big lead, we can control them. Christos Saltas. Hey, Nicola, congratulations on the win. 
What impressed you most on Michael Porter's junior progress this season, especially since the, tra- uh, the injury of uh, Jamal Murray? And what, how comfortable do you feel to have a teammate like him uh, on a leading role? Uh, I mean, he's playing right now amazing. I think he's shooting something like 50.7 from the field, 50.3, I mean, even more. So we always want a guy who, who, who can who can mount down the shots, who, who is aggressive, who is a big target, who can uh, score. I mean, that's the goal. We always want to have a guy uh, like that. But he, he's, uh, he's playing really well, especially after the old injuries. He's, he's stepping up and, uh, and playing really good. So he's, he, he's just accepting the role. Mike Singer. Hey, Nicola, you said it was your goal to play every game. How much pride do you take in being available for your team every single night when they need it? I don't know if the pride, I, I think it's just, uh, I mean, uh, if nothing, if I don't have any injuries, if I don't have bruises, bounces, I mean, uh, But to be honest, the whole, especially right now, you can see the whole league is uh, injured and uh, all the kind of the top players are injured. I mean, you, you, you make think about that, you know, so why not? But to be honest, right now, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, not going to think as a, as a team and the staff more collectively, so we'll see what is the best for the team and what is the best for me. Esteban Abed. Hi, Nicola. Congrats for the win from Cordoba, Argentina. Um, with the playoffs so close, uh, do you start to think what's going to be the team to beat in the next, uh, in the first round, or try to to focus in the next match? I mean, uh, I mean so right now it's the Dallas or Portland. So we know it's uh, one of those two. Uh, it can be LA still. So I mean, I don't know. I, I personally don't know the, the, the standings and everything. Uh, so of course, you're not going to try to, because every match is, is tough, I think, especially in the West. Uh, so you, I personally don't like to kind of fix, like try to manipulate the, uh, the matchup. So, You're just going to go there and play, uh, play, play uh, and see what the future brings us. All right, Nicola, we got time for one more. We're going to end with Alexander Zikic. Uh, Nicola, I'm going to ask you for the Dali. I'm not sure if you're going to play against the Clippers or the Suns in the playoff, or maybe you're going to play against Zna i drugo, evo, pred kraj ove fantastične sezone koja se tvore razmišljanja, a, igra si stvarno izavredno u svakoj utakmici, a, kako se, kada razmišljaš kako se ođeš pred kraj ovog zvaničnog dela a, sezone sada? Ili će biti Portland ili će biti Dallas, tako da... A, Aha, onda nisam to dobro. Jedna, jedna od tih dvoje, tako da vidjet ćemo ovaj... Ima još zadnje tri utakmice, može nešto se promeni. A, u njihovom poredku, ali vidjet ćemo, nema pojma. Mi, mi mislim da ne možemo više da utičemo ništa na to, tako da ovaj, mi ćemo da igramo, mi ćemo da igramo normalno. A što se tiče cijelog sezone, dosta je naporna sezona, moram biti iskreni da ovako dosta je um, zaaktivno svaki drugi dan, svaki dan neke uh, biti fokusiran na nekom fokusu, nekoj uh, disciplini, nekoj uh, mm, mindset All right, that'll do it. Thank you, Nicola. Pleasure, Nicola.